Hello everyone, you're welcome to Otis Culture. In today's tutorial, I will be showing us on how to make a design on your turban base. So in case you don't know how to make this turban base, I've already made a detailed tutorial on how to make three different styles of turban base. I'm going to put the link in the description box below. Today's tutorial will be only on the design. So I'm going to put this aside for now. I'm going to be making use of crino line. This is the fabric that I'm using. It is called Obebi in my local market in Nigeria. So the next thing I'm going to do, the measurement of this crino line is two and a half inches wide. So I'm going to sew this crino line to this fabric. It is what I'm going to use to design the turban cap. The measurement of the fabric that I have are eight inches by 60 inches in length. I have the same thing on this other side as well. Eight inches by 60 inches in length. I have this into two pieces. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to join these two pieces together to give me a long length of 120 inches. I'm going to take to my sewing machine, I'm going to join it together, the positive side facing each other. I'm going to sew it with half an inch. Then it will now give me a long length of 120 inches. I'll quickly join the fabric together and show us the next step to take. I've joined the two fabric together, as you can see, to give me 120 inches in length. The next thing I'm going to do, this is the positive side of the fabric. I'm going to fold it into two. The next thing to do, I'm going to place the crino line on it and I'm going to sew the crino line to the fabric close to the edge. I'm going to sew it straight down till the 120 inches. I'll quickly do that and show us the next step to take. I've sewn it as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it to the positive side. This is how it looks like after turning it to the positive side. So the next thing to do is to fold to form a design. You fold it this way. This way. This way. This way, this way, this way, this way, and this way. Then, with my needle and thread, I'm going to tack it down. 
it is very easy to tack down because it is a cleaner line. After tacking it down, this is how it will look like. I'm going to cover this tacking with a fabric. Six inches by nine and a half inches. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fold two. I'm going to fold into two. Then I'm going to fold about half an inch. Then I will use it to cover this stitch. Make sure that it covers the stitch before you tack it down. Then this excess then this excess fabric, you will cut it out. With my needle and thread, I'm going to tack it down. This is the final outcome of today's tutorial. You can decide to wear yours plain like this or you design it with some feathers. This is what my client actually wants. This is the final outcome of today's tutorial. All this design is actually optional. This is what my client actually want me to do for her. So if you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. Let me quickly show us the back view. It's very easy to make. This style will stand you out in any occasion. Also remember to click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Until I come your way next, please stay safe and remain blessed. Bye!